Hello, I'm Doug Jones, and today we're gonna talk about Lawn Chair Larry. Cheers. Cheers. Our story begins in 1962. A 13-year-old boy named Larry Walters walks into an Army-Navy surplus store, and amongst the Swiss Army knives and the heavy-duty flashlights, he sees right before him a weather balloon. Suddenly, inspiration hits him like a bolt of lightning. He says, oh my god, if I had enough of these balloons, I could fly. He graduates from high school and enlists in the US Air Force. But due to his poor eyesight, he's rejected. And this devastates him. But he says, you know what? I'm not going to let this stop me. Fast forward to 1982. Larry is now a 33-year-old truck driver, and he still hasn't been able to get this idea of flying out of his head. Larry's driving his truck. He hears an airplane. He looks up, and he's like, son of a bitch. That's going to be me someday. Out of my way, asshole. <laughs> Let it out. So he brings his girlfriend, Carol, into the very same RV Navy surplus store he went to as a kid. He says, I'm gonna buy a bunch of these balloons. I'm gonna tie them to a lawn chair, and then I'm gonna fly. She says, you can't do that. That's way too dangerous. Excuse me. That's way too dangerous. He says, no, 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 no. I know what I'm doing. And Carol says, wow, OK, I'm in. Takes out her credit card and spends over $4,000 on weather balloons, lawn chair, helium tank, CB radio set, a BB pellet gun. So Larry lays out the plan. He says, OK, I'm going to take off from your backyard in San Pedro. I'm going to fly over to San Gabriel Mountains. When I reach an altitude of approximately 7,000 feet, I'm going to use the BB pistol to shoot out the balloons, and then I'll gradually begin my safe descent into the Mojave Desert. Now, here's the important part. Right before I take off, you're going to notify the FAA so that I don't get hit by a plane. I really don't want to get hit by a plane. I spilled on my nuts. So, uh, July 2nd, 1982, Larry establishes his ground crew, which consists of his girlfriend, Carol, and his buddy, Ron. It's like, hey, what's up? I'm Ron. They take 42 weather balloons and fill them with helium, tie it to a aluminum lawn chair, tie that to two dozen jugs of water for ballast. Larry christens his contraption Inspiration One, and he's like, okay, it's go time. Let's rock and roll. They cut the first tether. Suddenly, Carol is like, whoa, 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 wait, wait a minute. Larry, this is a big mistake. Larry turns to Carol and says, baby. I'm sorry, but a man can't just sit around. <laughs> right then and there, a gust of wind comes along, and the second tether snaps in half, and Larry shoots off into the sky at a 1,000 feet per minute. Larry, uh, Carol freaks out. Larry is uh, up in the sky, and he's like, oh my god, my greatest wishes come true. Ron turns to Carol and says, my god, Carol, we forgot to notify the FAA. Oh my god, I'm so drunk. So uh, Larry gets on a CB radio, and he's like, OK, I'm at 500 feet. I am now entering federal airspace. I am at 1,450 feet, higher than the Sears Tower. I am now at 6,500 feet. I'm above the clouds. At that very moment, two commercial airplane pilots <coughs> flying by. He's like, see the game last night? That Fernando Valenzuela has one hell of an arm. <laughs> that son of a bitch. And then Larry's like, <coughs> now I'm at 8,000 feet. <sighs> Oxygen becomes scarce at 8,500 feet. He's like, when I was a teenager, I experienced Beatlemania, but this is more like Fernando ma mania. Am I right? And then Larry's like, holy shit. Oh my god. I'm at 16,000 feet. I'm three miles above sea level. I thought I would stop at 7,000. And now I am a tw double, two over double. Oh, god, dear god. Oh, what have I done? The pilot looks over. Well, I'll be a son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> a guy on a lawn chair holding a gun? 
Carol freaks out. She's like, Larry, you're too high. You're gonna get in trouble. But she's like, how's the view? And he's like, it's nice. It's real good, but you're right. It's time to come back down now. He takes the BB pistol. He shoots out. Pew, 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 pew. Seven of the 42 weather balloons. And then he sets the gun on his lap and it falls into the sky and it's gone. And he's like, oh my God. Whoa, no, oh no. What am I gonna do now? Well, as it turns out, 35 weather balloons is the perfect amount of balloons to make a safe and gradual descent into the land. Inspiration One lands onto power cords in Long Beach uh, and knocking out the power in the entire neighborhood. Carol runs up to him. Carol says, oh my God, thank God you're okay. Gives him a big ass hug and is like, please tell me you're never gonna do that again. He makes the evening news. He never gets charged with anything. The very next week, Larry gets a special invitation to be a guest on the late night with David Letterman. Wow. Letterman says, wow, how does it feel to accomplish something that you've always wanted to do? And Larry says, I've achieved inner peace and I'm the happiest person alive today. Taking me out of the space I was in. Making my wishes come true. Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. Never thought I could feel so free. Flying away on balloons in a chair. Who could it be? Believe, Believe it or not, not, it's Larry. And that's now officially a parody, which is royalty free. So you can use this. To Larry Walters. Larry Walters. Is there an Army Navy surplus store in the area? Stay tuned for more. <laughs>